What is up, everybody? It's Cool Peaches here once again, recording my first video in three freaking weeks. I'm so sorry about uh, the the lack of uploads on this channel. Uh, it's just I've been busy with real life stuff. I got a job. I've been traveling a lot. I've been doing a lot of stuff that I'll I'll talk about uh, in these videos. But anyways. Where we last left off, I believe we were trying to get through Death Mountain. Right now I have to make my way back up there, so we're just going to do that. And in the meantime, I may as well tell you a bit about what I've been up to. So uh, on the 26th of last month, I actually turned 21. So I'm a completely legal adult with all of my rights. I can buy cigarettes if I want, which uh, don't smoke kids, but... Uh, I was able to buy my own jewel, which, you know, some might say is worse, but, you know. Got to get that nicotine somehow. Wow, I just... Yeah, don't, don't, don't use nicotine. It makes you suck at Zelda 2. That's the, the moral of this episode right here. So, anyways, other than that... What have I been up to? Well, I got a job at the Travis County Tax Office. I live in Austin. And basically what I do is I kind of – I work as basically an outdoor receptionist almost. So I just verify that people have appointments where they need to go, let them know what kind of stuff they need to set up an appointment if they need to, all that good stuff. And, you know, I like my job a lot. It's really fun. I get to talk to people all day, which is something that I enjoy doing. And I need to jump here. And lots of good stuff like that. But one thing that kind of annoys me is the fact that a lot of people that come into my job uh, don't speak English as their first language. And that's, you know, that's perfectly fine. I don't have anything against that. Uh, but the, the problem comes in that I don't speak Spanish, right? And again, that's completely fine. I would like to learn Spanish so I can do my job more effectively, but... Something that kind of bothers me is when people approach me and just start speaking in Spanish without asking, you know, habla español, and then they get mad at me for not speaking the language. Wow, I'm doing really badly here. Oh, that's okay. Uh, but yeah, they get, they get upset with me for not speaking. And it's like, well, <laughs> you know, if you want to come to the United States and do official business and whatnot at a tax office and everything like that, I think that you ought to know how to speak English. I think it's odd that, you know, they're even allowed to come in and just do Spanish-only appointments. Maybe, okay, let's not talk about politics. <laughs> That's just something that I've noticed. Um, but anyways, other than that, my job is pretty swell. I get paid thirteen fifty an hour, which means that I can pay my own rent for the first time in my life. I don't have to ask my mom to do it. I don't have to rely on other people for money. All really good stuff. I'm very happy with my job and my position in life at the moment. So, yeah. You know, I just, I can't say enough. I'm, I've been in a very good mood for the past three weeks. Just very busy and, frankly, very tired all the time. But, um, you know, in the meantime, what's been up with you guys? You know, let me know in the comments how's life. Uh, if you're enjoying the series or anything like that, you know, if there's anything uh, that you want to see me do differently, let me know. I'm happy to listen to you guys. And as a matter of fact, I would really enjoy it if you guys would, you know, comment and let me know your thoughts on this series or life or anything like that. I like interacting with y'all. And, you know, if it's something that you feel inclined to do, I would very much uh, enjoy it. So uh, give me one second. I'm going to take my sweater off. <clears throat> oh boy, here we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I wish I knew how to edit these so I could just edit that out. That's something else um, I've been meaning to learn a bit about is how to use, uh, I think it's Final Cut. You know, I have iMovie, but... I I uh, I used the the MacBook Pro that I got from school to record all these because it's the only computer that I have at the moment. Um, and currently, I also I not only own 
a valid copy of iMovie, but I also own a valid copy of uh, Final Cut. That's what it's called. Final Cut. Final Cut. That's what it is. So if any of you guys have any experience editing in Final Cut, let me know, because I'd definitely be interested in either learning or working with someone uh, on, you know, editing these videos, because they're kind of, they're kind of, uh, what is the word? They're kind of like stale, I guess, right now. They're just straight recordings, very 2008 YouTube quality, which I, I you know, I enjoy. I enjoy that, personally. I've always liked making videos in that format, and I always enjoy watching videos in those formats. You know, one of my favorite YouTubers, probably my single favorite YouTuber, actually, is Nintendo Capri Sun, as I'm sure that, you know, perhaps some of you have picked up on. I might have mentioned it in another episode. I don't know. But he does just straight shooting videos uh, that are very raw and unedited. And I always really like that format just because of that reason. But I'd at least be able to, I'd at least like to know how to like add captions or something like that. And that's, that's, you know, that's another thing is that I wouldn't expect a professional editing software like Final Cut to be necessarily easy to use, but I wouldn't expect it to have such a high uh, barrier to entry where like, I have no idea what I'm doing on it most of the time. Not that that's necessarily a problem, but it's just like, I don't even know how to add captions, and it seems like such an ob obscure thing in that program. Maybe I'm totally weird for thinking that, and maybe I just haven't paid close attention enough uh, to see what I really need to do, but, you know, it just always seems very uh, obscure, and whatever. I'm really rambling now, aren't I? Uh, let's get this guy. Die. Die. There we are. You are D-E-D -E -D dead. And there we go. I think we'll get a level before we get to the the uh, final cave, which will be very useful. I think my, uh, my magic will go up, which will be really handy. I read somebody, somebody commented on one of these videos. I really need to cast life, and I don't have enough magic. No! Uh... Somebody commented on one of these videos a better way to... Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank goodness. A better way to kill these guys. And it's sort of by doing this. And it definitely works better. But I'm not sure that I like that method. I mean, if you're, if you're above... Oh, thank goodness. If you're above them, that's definitely the way to do it. And that's the way I'm going to be doing it uh, from now on. So thank you to whoever that was. And... This is one of those situations that I wish I knew how to add captions to the video because I could just put their name on screen right now. And, oh, you know what? I'm going to do this. There we go. Oh, sh well, I have enough magic to cast life. Yeah, there we are. That's how you do it. Okay, yeah, so definitely thank you to that person because that's make definitely going to make my life a lot easier, especially in this system or this part of the game, where a lot of these guys are. I think their official name is Darius. Something like that. Look at that. Not even a scratch. I will take that. Don't have enough to cast life yet. But after this, we will. And that should also give us almost full magic. That's enough to cast life again. And here we are, back at the cave that we died last time. So, let's see if we don't have any better luck uh, running through it this time. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cast shield. I am, you know, maybe there's something, maybe it's me, but I've always preferred oof, ooh, not having the, uh, the sword beam in this game. Because it's not particularly useful for most enemies. And not only that, but it's really, the sound is very kind of annoying. And it doesn't do anything. Like I said, it doesn't do anything to most enemies in the game. So it's like, why would I want this? You know, it's just an, an it's just an irritation, as it were. Kind of like when you get dust in your ears. You know, it's an irritation and you need to go get a Q-tip to go clean it out. Oh, shoot. Mm-hmm. 
Sitting on the toilet seat, it smells really bad. And now you have to go and flush it down. Flush it down now. Yeah, can you tell that I like? Ah, oh, shucks. Can you tell I like Nintendo Capri Sun? I'm gonna go up here and hope that one of these enemies drops a jar. They did not. Let's see if I can get any better luck with the enemies up here. If not, that's not the biggest deal in the world. We still have a chance of surviving. It's just going to be... Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My hero. Okay. That doesn't give us enough to cast shield, does it? No. Just barely not enough. Just barely not enough. That's great. Yuck. <clears throat> Bullet. Sorry, I'm not making much sense here. I'm out of the the recording loop as it shoot out of the recording loop as it were. And you know, you talk to people all day, like my job. You kind of I hate it when they do that because there's not a way to avoid that attack. You just kind of have to hope that it doesn't hit you. Anyways, you know, when you talk to people all day, like you do at my job, you kind of get frazzled and. Your brain says, I don't want to talk to anybody ever again. And that's kind of the uh, mental... Uh, what is it? Sh ah! <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. That's kind of the mental state that I'm in right now. So we're going to cast shield so that doesn't happen again. I said so that doesn't happen again. Okay. Thank goodness. Now we're going to cast life. Now we're going to take this. Now we are prepared. This guy is not going to kill us. Okay. All right. Good. Great. Fine. All right. There we go. We finally got the freaking hammer. All right. That's what we came here for. We can get the heck out of here. The hell out of here. I'm just, I'm debating as to whether or not I should swear on this channel. I know most people probably don't care, but, you know. As a former member of the Toontown Written team, I feel it is in my best interest to uphold the standards of uh, the Toontowny written experience and keep this channel to be family friendly. I don't know why I'm talking like a, a bizarro version of Kermit the Frog. Oh, this is the wrong way. I'm dumb. Please don't hit me. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Man, I, tr I went over to my friend's house the other day to do my laundry, and he wanted to chat, and I was literally, like, falling asleep in my chair. I was so tired. You know, I haven't had a job in, gosh, since the end of 2018, so for about two years now. And just working for eight hours a day for uh, five days a week again is just exhausting. You know, I'm not complaining. I like having a job. This is a magic jar, by the way. You definitely want to come here, here and uh, pick that up. <clears throat> I, I really like having a job. I love having a job. As a matter of fact, I and I really, really love my job. It's it's fun. It's interesting. I get to work, you know, I get to work partially with the elections department, which is really interesting to me. Um, I've always really liked, uh, not really like being involved in political fights or anything like that, but political processes. So seeing elections is really, really fascinating to me. I love this job. Don't get me wrong. But it definitely takes a lot out of you, you know. You see how much we have left over? Now we can actually cast life again, and that was just with one blue jar. That's how much uh, those uh, magic jars will help. So definitely 100% want to come and pick that up. Even if it seems like it's out of your way, it's not. Not in the slightest. And there's another reason much later in the game that you definitely want to get that. Which... I will point out once we get to it, but don't worry, it'll probably be like uh, five or more episodes from now. So, you know, you'll see it, you'll see it once we get to it. Mm. Ah, I'm surprised that bubble didn't hit me, I was just popping my neck. Oh, one of these guys out here, huh? Well, what if we just, you know what, he'll give me a level. Oh my god, this is so laggy. I don't know if it's showing up in the video, but this is, like, really bad. 
lag right now. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. I, oh, yeah, that's right. I got a level. I forgot. <laughs> I was about to cast life so I could get my life up and not die from that bubble. But that's right. I got the life spell. Or... Okay, I'm going to stop being stupid now. Stop being stupoid. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know why anybody watches this. This is such crap. <laughs> it's so terrible. Anyways, this is the town of Mido. Which is one of two... <coughs> <coughs> which is one of two towns in the game that is not named after a... S oh my god, let me talk to the health lady. What the... He I can I not talk to her? It wasn't letting me talk to her for some reason. Anyways, which is one of the two towns in the game that is not named after any sage from Ocarina of Time. Or rather, there's no sage in Ocarina of Time that's named after it. So what you want to do in this town, you see this building. If you notice, you can't actually jump uh, past the roof. And if you try to, that's actually a solid block. So what we want to do is cast the jump spell. And if we could, if you could be so kind as to let me jump on top of this building and go in through the roof and then sneak through this person's house, who obviously doesn't want me being in here because they locked their front door, and then go down to their basement, who, you know, they probably don't want me in here because they locked their front door. And then you talk to this guy, and he's like, what the hell are you doing in here? I'm going to give you this so you leave me alone. And this is the best upgrade in the entire game, easily. As you can see, when you jump, press downward to stab. And this is the downward stab, and this is easily, like I said, the best upgrade in the game. What does it do? What kind of useless does it have? Find out next time on Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Take care, everyone.